Welcome back to Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. I am your host, Mr. Ben. Before we get started with the actual episode today, I wanted to show off a bit of a minor thing here that you could see going back to the Mushroom Kingdom. At any time you go back to the Mushroom Kingdom after getting the fifth star, you will see another special cameo. We head over to the guest room and we talk to this toad. He says, our guest is resting. Please be quiet. Well, who could this guest possibly be? Well, if you enter into the room and you go over to the right, you're going to see Samus. He says, she's resting up for Mother Brain. I'm actually slightly worried about that because uh, even though that's a really cool cameo, Samus kind of has a bit of a distressing tendency to blow up any place that she tends to set foot down on, so... That's probably why we never got an official sequel to Super Mario RPG. <laughs> I kind of just imagine that maybe Samus just sort of leaves off camera and uh, defeats Mother Brain and winds up blowing up Mario's world off camera in the, in the process. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make my, make my way back to Monster Town. Now that we're back... There's a couple of things that I want to show off while you know, we're in the in the vicinity. Uh, this is okay. We've already here, and we've already shown off the shop. This particular house. Uh, I thought there was a hidden chest chest up there. There's um three people we can talk to. This particular person here says it's really weird. Sometimes I hear the guy next door. He's always mumbling about a crystal this and an evil that. Isn't a crystal some kind of shiny rock or something? I know I've seen those somewhere. That is a reference to uh, something that we've seen before, but we'll uh, get back to that. Anyway, this particular chow here says that the super jump is our specialty. Multiple jumps of ours are pretty amazing. I heard that your rec- oh. Okay, so my record apparently is at 15. That's right, I completely forgot. The uh, initial jump does not actually count towards your record, so I thought that my record was at 16, but anyway. I need to double my record, and I'll get a prize. But the biggest one that we want to speak to right now is this particular individual here. He says that, You there! Rumor has it that you're quite an accomplished jumper. I may be out-jumped, but you're totally out-pumped. Strong silent type, eh? Don't you dig these vibes? That's four times, but if you come out here, you'll notice that this particular key has come a little bit closer to the edge. What we want to do is we want to talk to this guy a few more times. He doesn't say anything else beyond the don't you dig the vibes thing, but every time that he hits um, this particular round, knocks that key a little bit closer to the edge. I think you have to, yep, talk to him seven times and we get the temple key. The temple key is useful because by going back to the Bellum Temple, we can actually use that to go into a secret room. Now, the secret room can only be accessed with uh, getting a particular fortune. Ew, and I got it first try. Awesome. I thought I was going to get it. I thought I wasn't going to be able to get it right away, but I guess I lucked out. The key you had there looks pretty tasty. If we give him the temple key, we'll move out of the way. Get eight frog coins, four flowers. And a trio of items. We get a firebomb. We're just gonna go ahead and toss some of these items here. Get another royal syrup. And finally, we get a max mushroom. I might as well go ahead and toss out the final mid mushroom here. And any 
anytime we want to go back to Monster Town, we just need to make sure we get that uh, hungry message. Ever since we fought Bellum, we don't have to fight him again. He's gone for good for this time. We're not going to see him again. And we head back down to Monster Town. going to go ahead and uh, quickly save the game here one more time. I think I'm not at full... Yeah. We are at 80 flowers, though. We only have 19 more before we finally manage to uh, get Max. But now we've got one more area to go through. And if we come in here, we uh, speak to this particular person. It says, who is it? Sorry, but the sensei isn't in. Oh my gosh! Jagger? Bowser, I haven't seen you for so long. I've been studying here at the, do the dojo under the Sensei Jinx because, to tell you the truth, I, I knew I couldn't beat Smithy. That's why I'm here now. Someday I'm going to return and make you proud. Don't worry about me. I've got new troopers now, and we're going to take back my castle. You stick to your guns. Train like there's no tomorrow. My sensei is out right now, but he'll be back shortly. In the meantime, will you accept a challenge from me? Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and... Wow, I'm flattered to think that you're afraid of me. <laughs> I never actually knew what he said to you if you, uh, didn't actually, you know, accept his challenge. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to swap Bowser into the party temporarily just to, uh, fight against Jagger. Great. You know that I'm not going to make it easy for you, right? Alright, Jagger, let's see your moves. I should have been able to block that, but... I guess I was just missing the timing on that. Anyway, another reason I wanted to, uh... One of the reasons why I wanted to actually do this was because I wanted to show off Bowser's Spike Link. Yikes, you're tough! Yeah, I guess that was to be expected. Mario, you're a top-notch fighter. You did well for your inexperience, Jagger. Sensei, have you been here all along? You felt my chi, didn't you? Not bad for a novice. Your fighting style. It isn't as foolproof as you think. I'll accept the challenge any day. You wish to challenge me? All right, let's see what you're capable of. This here is Jinx. He is an optional boss battle. In fact, he's actually named Jackie in the Japanese version. I'm assuming after the uh, martial artist and actor Jackie Chan. That's the only particular reason I can think of anyway. Ah, hell. Should have gone ahead and healed it when I had the chance. Oh, and he has Valor up. We haven't seen that since the fight with the uh, Hammer Brothers back almost near the very beginning of the game. Bowser at some point. You simply amazing. I 
guess I underestimated you. You pack quite a punch. But don't let it go to your head, because I let you have that round. Let's have a rematch. And yep, okay, we're healed up the full. You wish to challenge me? Yes. All right, you asked for it. No crying if you get hurt. And this is the round two. Jinx is a little bit more powerful at this point. He actually uses moves like Quicksilver, which can cause instant death. His moves are also significantly more powerful as well. And he has more HP. I probably should have swapped out, uh... Ah, I think we're doing alright for the time being. I forgot, does he take any damage from jump attacks? Barely. Might want to go ahead and just keep up the, uh, flower points for healing. Thank goodness, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get the timing on that. What the hell's up with all these misses? You know what? I don't think I've ever shown this off, but this is Mario's super flame attack. And of course, I wasted the FP for nothing. I forgot uh, Jinx was strong against fire. Timing on guarding Silver Bullet is a little bit tricky, because depending on how you time it, you can either be reduced down to one hit point, or take no damage at all whatsoever. after all those. Goodness. Bit of a fun fact here. If you're only fighting against one enemy like Jinx here, it is always better to use a super jump rather than ultra jump. Ultra jump is just a waste of extra flower points that you could have used. And ultra jump isn't really any stronger than super jump is. At least as far as I'm aware. How much HP he has. Okay, there we go. Ooh. All right. Still haven't had enough? It isn't often I have someone this competitive to spar with. All right, this match will be the one that counts since I'm placing my reputation on the line. You wish to challenge me? 
Watch closely, Jagger. You're about to see your sensei in action. This is the ultimate battle against Jinx. He is going completely all out at this point. We might not be able to face him at this uh, current moment. But dear lord, am I going to try. Holy hell, he's just going after the princess. No mercy on her. Holy shit, why is he going after the healer? Okay, never, there we go. I was about to say, he's probably going after her because he knows I've been just using her to heal everybody. Yeah, I'm not entirely certain if I'm going to be able to beat him at my current level of power. Really, I should have actually gone ahead and, uh, I meant to swap Gino into the party. Gino boost would have been really helpful at this point. But that's okay. If we don't beat him now, we'll just take care of him later. gonna be here a while. Holy hell. Uh, you know what? Can't possibly hurt. I only know that we're going to be here a significant while because I know for a fact that Jinx is somewhere along the range of about a thousand hit points. And, uh... If I'm only doing, like, 30... I was about to say, if I'm only doing about maybe 50 every, every so often... Yeah, we're gonna be... Yeah, that didn't work. If nothing else... This is actually prime ample time to practice my super jump. Of course. Huh. No idea why I thought that would actually be of any real use. But make sure we get proper healing ready. I don't think Mute's gonna really work on him, but...
Nope. Okay. Funny because the bomb's way is actually much easier to guard against than the silver bullet was. Although I seem to be doing pretty good against guarding against that, too. got all these mid mushrooms and stuff I should probably maybe see about using some of them up I lost count how many I did. I'll have to check with the chow. It definitely wasn't 30, I can tell you that much. Oh, oh, now we're getting into the now we're getting into the big guns. Holy hell. That bigger up. Now we're gonna be doing even less damage to them. <sighs> Bombs are getting a little sweaty here on this.
Oh shit! Okay. Uh, screw it. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! I'm out of pick-me-ups! Oh hell. This is not good. This is not good. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. Screw it. Going all out. Not even gonna bother healing. Oh no! Uh... Failure. Well, I'd say we did pretty damn good. And do you know what your weak point is? You haven't put in enough training time. But don't worry, in time you'll grow stronger. Come back after you level up. Well, I, I think we did a really damn good job. You know what? I am curious. Ah, that, that's the wrong door. Let's see, what are we doing? 28! Yes! I just need two more. Okay. Um. At that point, yes, I, I fully think that we can get 30 in a row. I'm fairly certain we can. Anyway, I... I'm gonna check my items here. Yeah, we. Uh, 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 I do not need this many able juices. I am gonna go ahead. I'm gonna restock up, and uh, next time we're gonna actually go ahead and move on from Monster Town. But I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna save the game here. And I'm going to call it here. Thank you all for joining me. This has been Mr. Ben. Next time when we pick up, we will definitely move on towards the, uh, like I said, what we were actually going to do last episode, move on towards the Bean Valley. Until then, see you all next time.